Shalom Rastafari. And once again, this is your brother in Wyndham Yadam, um, announcing to those who may have known or heard about our beloved brother and elder, Dr. Gladstone Robinson, um, Ras Fikra Salasi. He has passed on. He he sleeps with with the forefathers, with our elders. He's gone to the bosom of Abraham. Before we share this article that was posted um, by uh, Wayne Rose, Baltimore Rastafari Examiner, and we say, Hail up to the item in the name of the King of Kings and his Christ. It's on the religion and spirituality from February 23, 2012. The article by Wayne Rose is entitled, Celebrating the Life of a Legend. Gladstone Robinson. But before we read and share um, a little bit of what was written by um, Wayne Rose, we would like to recall to your hearts and minds the instructions of the of the Sitta Negesh, the law of the kings from chapter 22 concerning concerning what people, what I and I as Jah's people must do for the dead, for those of our brothers and sisters who have gone to sleep. It says, in the church you shall gather without laziness to read the holy books and say psalms for those who are asleep, such as the martyrs and the former Kedusan the former saints, and for your brethren who are asleep and were mitmanan or faithful in Getachin, in Adonenu, in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos. Offer for them in your church the prayer of sacrifice, which is his holy body and his precious blood, to the king, of heaven, offer it to say farewell to the one who sleeps. Pray for the one who is asleep by walking before his buyer and saying Psalms, Mesmur, Mesmur Dawi. If he was faithful to Christos, to the Moshiach, the prophet David, Dawit, David has said. Precious before Adonai is the death of his Kedusan, is the death of his saints. He also said, Turn, O my soul, to thy rest, for Adonai has been bountiful to thee. Those who exercise true and faithful witness in Adonai, in our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, do not die. As was said by Adonai himself to the Sadducees, therefore the bones of those who are living in Adonai are not despised or defiled, because the prophet Elisius, Elisha, after his death, made the de made the dead man who was killed by the Syrian soldiers rise. When the body of the dead man touched the bones of Elisha, he came back to life and rose. This happened because the body of Elisha was saintly and pure. Yosef, the wise, who embraced the body of Yaakob, his father, on the bed after he died. Similarly, Moses, Musa, and Joshua and Yeshua, Yehoshua, brought with them the body of Yosef, and it was not considered as a sin on their part. It goes on into more that instructs I-9, those who recall when the elder Bongo Rocky had passed on to the spirit world, that we had did a series of videos um, and teachings for the Rastafari in particular, because we say I and I not die, and the Fitta Negest 
says that the righteous of Sadiq and Kedusa and the Tehutan, that they do not die either. They have gone to sleep. And there's a deeper teaching on that, but we want to celebrate the life of a legend. We want to share with you Wayne Rose's article on the Baltimore Rastafari Examiner. As you um, check out some of these uh, pictures, and there's much more that we would love to share with those of you all. But first of all, let's just get some of the, as they say, the background. Today, the Pan-African and Rastafari communities celebrate the life, and we mourn the loss of one of its stalwarts, Gladstone Robinson, the elder transitioned to the realm of ancestor on February 22nd, 2012. Brother Robbie, as he was affectionately called, was among the first group of African Americans who responded to the call for diaspora participation in Ethiopia and in the development after the 1954 royal visit by Emperor Haile Selassie I to the American shores. Born in the state of New York to a Barbadian father and a Cherokee Indian mother, Gladstone gained professional training as a pharmacist and practiced his craft until the early 1960s when he became the chairman of the Ethiopian World Federation's Back to Africa Mission, otherwise known by the acronym of BAM, B-A-M. In his capacity as chair of the BAM, Brother Robbie worked with the likes of Fillmore, Alvaranga, Douglas Mack, Brother Brissett, Solomon Wolf, and others to re-engage the land grant offered by Emperor Haile Selassie I and administered by Mr. and Mr. James and his wife Helen Piper since 1948. In the mid-1960s, Brother Robbie repatriated to Ethiopia and began his contribution to Ethiopian development in establishing several pharmacies in Addis Ababa, Asmara, and Shashimani. He also taught at the Haile Selassie I School of Pharmacy for a year and later assisted in the administration of the Shashimani land grant. Elder Rabi was instrumental in assisting many diaspora repatriates to acquire plots from the original land grant. He further assisted in the modern development of the Shashimani community by his contribution of land for the establishment of indigenous civic and social organizations and the promotion of Shashimani as a haven for African peoples from the diaspora. As an elder, Brother Robbie was included as a participant in the Baltimore, Washington, D.C. based anniversial development of Rastafari Incorporated, otherwise known as IDOR, Elders Medical Project, and was a beneficiary of the dignified and compassionate care that is now synonymous with the project and its Ethiopian administrator, Ras Rubin Kush. The half is not yet told of the life and contributions of this great African pioneer. But today, as we, I and I, and I celebrate his life's work, we must be inspired to make our own contribution to the cause of humanity and the positive development of African self-determination and complete 
liberation. Right on, Brother Robbie, right on. Zion gates are opened wide. May the first power of the Trinity, Haile Selassie first, be our ever guiding light in the name of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We love you, Brother Bobby. Robbie, Dr. Gladstone, Ras Fikha Selassie. Shalom, Rastafari. <laughs>